Okay, moving to the back. Let me close this. All right, a little glass door. All right, let me go in here to the bathroom. All right, so you got the little wall sink. Light. All right, so anyway, this is all stainless lines and so forth that run down. Um, these actually be zip tied to it there. You got a door here. And you have a full size shower inside of this thing. An actual nice shower head. You won't find this in any other fusion. And the reason why you won't find this in any other fusion is because I had a carpenter come in and custom build the bathroom because I couldn't stand the little shower tub thing that's like, well this is actually 36 inches across here to here and the shower tub was only a foot and a half and when it had a shower curtain and you couldn't turn and then right beside it was a vanity right here in the wall that was yay tall and then the, the tub, the toilet and it was all like that yellowy off-white color so I had somebody come in here and redo all this and make this custom bathroom in it Okay, going to the back. Now, this right here has a chip mark in the corner and it's got a little stain over it to try to hide it. I and mean, there's a crack right there where, I don't know, somebody ran into it or something. And this also has some marks. Um, other than that, You can actually see we've used it for the ATVs to bring them in here. You see the tracks still, where they've been in. They climb right up at this door, lay down, and make a back door. Or not a back door, but a patio. You can put little things in the corners and, and block it, and then you have an outside patio. Um, this bed right here, these legs actually, they fold down, and this will lift up and make a, a dining room table with a, with a wraparound bench. And it works like this here. Button control power button comes down now there's a top bed above it this is a queen and that's a queen the way it works is you lift it all the way up and once it's pushed all the way to the top it lifts this a little bit and you pull this pin there's four pins one in each corner and then as you lower the bed the top bed will stop and the keep bottom bed keeps going so that's how you do the lower beds and I'm gonna go ahead and just put it back up See here that when it releases up there, I'll do it again. Or go watch. Once that's released up there, you pull the pin, and then that's how you bring the other thing down with it. Anyway, you can sit wherever. Um your interior lighting in here, and then it's a 12 volt accessory in the back, back TV, and it's hooked to the antenna to the front, same thing. Um you see there's ground cleats on it. Hey Jay, hey, will you come in here and help me do the uh, close the uh, camper? Go to the front. Okay, we gotta. I want to show this thing closing up. So you lift this table bed. What is it? Does that go in there? No, that doesn't go in there. No, let me show you the rest of the blinds and stuff. Blinds. Yeah, 
they just lift up and hold wherever you put them. It has them all around except for I think this one here had a couple blinds that were partially damaged and this one here got damaged also. That one there, that one I took out. I think this one here is A-OK. -okay. Okay. You, gotta, you need to come out, out of the way so I can close this. Excuse us. Get a button for it. It's right here. Once it clicks, that's it. Turn off the water pressure. <clears throat> you got your lighting switch. Now the switch does the living room only. The bedroom light you have to manually do. So I'll walk around the outside now. Here's the model. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We have a uh, a lot of our stuff inside of it still. That's pretty much where we kept all our camping stuff. Water hoses. Um, our camping stuff we're going to keep. That's the water hose for the outside. The coil up quick connect hose. Like I said, it was never used. And then we always kept a lock set with us so we could leave our, our toys outside and lock them right to the side of this thing. See it closed up, ready to roll. It's real easy. It's easy to hook up to. You got a little light here for nighttime. Pretty simple. There's no leaks, no issues. Everything works with it. That's pretty much the gist of it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I think I'm gonna sell one of these four-wheelers too if you want a four-wheeler to go with it.